is my dad, Noah, and every week we sit on my bed and have a conversation about something we want to talk about. And this week, we're going to talk about one of my favorite hobbies. Okay. And before we get to that, <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for reaching out to my, some, some of you to reaching out to my dad on really some nice comments about last pod, about last week's podcast about going to overnight camp. But it would really help the podcast if you set, did those comments on Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, and you can, so you can leave comments on Apple Podcasts. And you, if you also have any podcast ideas that maybe we can talk about, you can leave those there also. And you can walk, you can listen on Apple Podcasts and watch on YouTube. Yep. So listen on Apple Podcasts. You can. Leave a comment. Comment, rate, review the podcast. You can follow on Spotify if that's where you listen mm-hmm. to podcasts. And on YouTube, you can just search the follow-up podcast and you can yes. subscribe there and you can watch the episodes. Okay, we've got all that. All right, so one of your favorite hobbies is was my favorite, one right. of my favorite hobbies as a kid, but it's a little bit different now because of the costs associated with it. Oh, and yeah. that is... Basketball card collecting. Okay, so when I was a kid... Most packs of basketball cards that we would get were like, um, I don't know, maybe a dollar fifty, two dollars, three dollars. Um, some were five or six dollars, so I'd really have to save my allowance and decide, all right, do I really want that? And you could also then buy a box of cards for like sometimes thirty-five dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars, but in every pack was about like between 12 and 15 cards in every pack. So I have a lot of cards back at at Grandpa's house still. And I've given some to you and we've we've gone through some things. But now things are a little bit different because just the packs of cards are just just so expensive. So what what do you like first just about basketball cards in general? Well, I love watching basketball. And I think it's nice just to have the card. It's just fun to, like, open a pack, see which players you get, like, mm-hmm. which ones you've heard of, like, when your favorite players. So right. It's just, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun to actually hold something. Yes. It's different than looking at it on an iPad or some right. sort of device to actually hold hold the card. Yeah. And so, but we did, I, I, during the pandemic, the price of cards just went. Yeah. Like, like, people, like, people started selling a bunch of cards. Right. And so now it's like for a pack of sometimes five, just like regular sometimes NBA hoops cards, me eight dollars. Right, which is which a is, lot. Which is a lot, and for that's like five usually, cards. and that's usually the, the least expensive yeah. one for that for that cost. So it's uh, and then we there's there is one pack of like NBA hoops that comes in a box that has ninety cards in it, yeah. like five different packs I think, and um, I think that one might be. 20 bucks or some, something like that. I forget. But that's the most cost effective one. But yes. but because trading card companies have started to put limited edition cards in. And which so you have now have a chance of getting this card that someone could sell for thousands of dollars. It just be, it's become more of a business for the people who are getting the cards, selling the cards, than just a kid collecting the cards, which is Correct. which is kind of which I think is is a shame that they're that there isn't that in basketball. There isn't yes. just like a set that you can just collect. Why when we go to our grandpa's house and we you sometimes bring down your cards and we look through a bunch of them and I take a bunch of them. Right. So it, And that's how I do most of my collecting. So <laughs> well and then, some of it. So and then, then I buy some cards. Yeah, you've used your allowance to yes. buy some to buy some individual cards. There's one card store in yeah. New York City on the on the Upper East Side. There's just just yeah, one. and we sometimes go there. Mm-hmm. Just one, and then when we go back to um, Grand Grand Pops, we we've, yeah. we've gone to the one there. But it's it's fun for me to share the cards with you because I like telling you stories about these players yeah. and how I used to go to a lot of games as a kid and see these players play, and and then it's fun for me to even look through these cards and realize, wow, when I got this card as a kid, I thought I was never going to have to work. Ever. I thought this card was going to pay for everything. And it's just not. It's just not the case. But Grandpa told me, taught me a good lesson when I was a kid because we had. They still make it though. It, it was called Beckett Magazine, and it was a price guide, and it would have the set of cards and then the name, and it would tell you next to it 
how much it was quote unquote worth. Like if someone was going to buy it, they might pay that price. My grandpa always taught me, well, it's only worth as much as someone is going to pay. Right. Pay you for it. So just because that card next to Shaq's name says $15 in the guide, it's not worth $15 until someone actually offers you $15. Right. So it's a little bit, uh, so I learned a lot about the, yes. like the business of it at the time also. Right. What do you, like the pack is not worth $8 until someone gives you, pays $8 for the pack. Well, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, kind yeah, the well, that's the, that's how they set the price. So right. you also, like, then this is this has been helpful and also a lot of fun are, is the Panini sticker album. So that's, so this, this year came out so late. Yeah, it came out, actually, after the playoffs started. Yeah, it was cr crazy that this came out so late. But. But, yeah, so take folks through it and, and, like, and, and what it okay. is. Okay, so this is a book and you get, just like you get NBA um, card packs, you get sticker packs. Mm -hmm. So there are five stickers because it is And a, a card. Yes, and, and a card. Yeah. I'm going to show a page. It's a sticker book. So as you see here, let's see, there is a Kevin Durant spot right here. So when I get the Kevin Durant sticker that matches right here, I'll put it in the book and I try to fill up the whole book basically and the whole page. So you try to fill up as many pages as you can. Yes. So they have every team and then they have award, the award winners. Yeah, they have the NBA, all NBA first and second teams, the rookie teams, mm -hmm. the draft and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that is, that is a lot of fun. And this year they added two things that I thought are really fun. A legends page of some mm, let me see. legends. Some legends page. Yeah, I'll okay, keep going. What else? And a sneaker stars. Oh, that's yeah. So every a bunch of pl good players are all on sneakers. So they have their little face, and there's me a sneaker next to that. So on the, really cool. on the legends page here, we've got so we have sorted up. So so far, there's we've got Barkley, who was my favorite as a kid. Magic Johnson, also one of my favorites. Dirk, Dwayne Wade. Dirk Nowitzki, Dwayne Wade. Yeah, Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell. It's a good thing that they're next to each other. Yeah. On this page, Carl Malone from the Utah Jazz. Great scorer, not good guy. Bob Cousy, the first great point guard. Yes. Uh, Vince Carter. I'm, I just can't believe Vince is in, the same in this, this whole Legends <laughs> conversation. Bob Pettit was Grandpa Sonny's favorite yep. player because they used to be able to get the St. Louis games on the radio in Pittsburgh. And then Shaq, of course. Yeah. That, that fits. So... One of the other things that I've we've done with cards and stickers is this is how we've tried to teach you geography. Yes, and it makes and it very fun when you collect when you're trying to collect and like you like you'll quit me on the team. Like let's see, like all right, so I'll say like Trey Young. Trey Young plays for Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta is in the state of Georgia. What part of the country is Georgia in? The Right. So, and then try to, then that's how you think of a map. And, yeah. um, and then when you were even younger, it was a lot about alphab alphabetical order. So, yes. all right. So what comes first? Is it Boston or Brooklyn? Okay. Right. Well, and you know that it's O, B's are the same O's before R. And then even the, even the numbers in order. So we've been doing yeah. this for, since you were, I think in kindergarten. Kindergarten? And, yeah, I think so. Maybe first grade. I no, kindergarten. I have three blocks. Yeah. So kindergarten. Or maybe first grade. Yeah, I guess first, first grade. grade. Early first grade. So it's so it's not just about the yeah. the players and the teams, but you get to there's, yeah. there's some other stuff. And I to love enjoy collecting them because I love basketball. Mm -hmm. And then it's like if I watch a game and if a player gets a really good night, like let's say um, Devin Booker has a really good night, and then it makes it really fun if the next day I open a bag and I get it. Right. Or you realize like, oh, I have that card. Yeah. Or I have his card or I have his sticker. Yeah. And it's, um, it's nice when you, like, have a card, then you get the sticker, and it's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, so I'd rec we certainly recommend yeah. anyone who's a, a sports fan, they make these, I think, these books for, I know they make them for soccer, yes. and I know they make them for all the other sports. It can get expensive to try to fill up the whole book because just you're just buying more and more of these sticker packs. But it is, yeah. but it is a fun thing to collect. And then when it comes for basketball stuff, it's probably the least expensive thing. I mean, collecting the cards these days is nuts. Um, yeah. But, um, but yes, but, there's, but, but soccer, those are fun. there's definitely a hockey one. Yeah, and, I, and I'm and fairly certain it's football, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So maybe we should get a few more packs before you leave for the summer. Let's so, do it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I, think, I think we could. And maybe right. we'd even open up a pack on the... Maybe, maybe we'll try to open up a pack on a podcast before you leave, just so That's folks okay. can there. Oh, so you can, yeah, and you can see it. Yeah, that'd be good. All right. Well, I like sharing this hobby with you. Yeah. And thank you for giving me some of your cards. You're welcome. <laughs> Love you. Love you.